Hello gents, uh, this video is an introductory video for moments, um, so let's, let's have a look. Right now I'm on page 66 of our booklet. Um, so the first thing we want to touch on is, I suppose, understanding what a moment is. So I'll read this last sentence out, sentence out to you. A moment of force is a measure of, of a force's turning effect about some reference point. So if you have a look at question A, We've got question A and there's an, there's an A there, okay? The reference point is that point right there, okay? So that is our reference point, okay? our, our, our pivotal point. Now with, with, um, with moments, we're looking at a turning, turning motion. So a turning motion could either be clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay? There are two motions that we're focusing on. Now you'll have a look here, a clockwise motion so something that is pushing in a clockwise motion will give us a positive. Something that is pushing in an anti-clockwise motion will give us a negative, a negative figure. Okay. Before we actually have a go at the problem, it's very important to, to remember our formula. So our formula is moments equals force multiplied by perpendicular distance. And that's the, that's the symbol for perpendicular. Now, when we talk about force, we want to try and convert our forces to newtons. When we think about distance, we want to convert them to meters. Okay, let's have a little go. So there's question A in your booklet. Okay, I've done it on a piece of paper, just so hopefully it's a little bit clearer for you. So, let's start with the formula. Now the formula is, moments around A, because we're looking for A, Okay, moments around A, and we add in that clockwise motion with a positive, okay, because we know that's a positive. Now, we know that's a positive because if you have a look at your arrowhead there, that's the most important thing, the arrowhead. And if that's pushing down, this would necessarily be pushing down in a clockwise motion, like that, okay, because it's pushing down. If it was there and pushing up, well then that would be anti-clockwise, because that would be pushing in an anti-clockwise motion. But for this one it's a positive, it's pushing down. So we add in our symbol with a positive symbol. We then finish our formula, which is force multiplied by distance. Okay. Now we go to our next part. So we know our our forces are positive, so we add in a positive 1,000 newtons multiplied by the distance. Now the distance is, is already in meters for us, so that's handy. So we can just go 3.2, and now we find our answer. So the moments around A, and our answer is 3,200 newton meters. Now our unit will be newton meters. And now we need to add in our positive symbol, which is that. Okay, so that's saying that our answer is a positive, okay, and a positive shows us a clockwise direction symbol. Now, if that answer was a negative, the symbol at the end here, and even at the start, okay, would look like this. Okay, that there is a negative symbol, an anti clockwise symbol. Now, gents, You've had a crack at, number, at, at A. What I want you to do now is have a little go at B. B is very similar to A. 